Hey, what's up? We're going to go over a word problem from the section angles and radian measure. So let's go ahead and get started. So this problem reads, when a CD player reads the information from the outer edge of a CD, the CD spins about 200 revolutions per minute. Okay, it's very important. At that speed, through what angle does the point on the CD spin in one minute? So that's asking if this is revolving at a certain rate in one minute, what's the angle that it travels? So the first thing we wanna do is lay out the formulas that we're gonna use. So angle travel is very similar to distance travel. So if you remember distance equals rate times time, the distance equivalent for an angle is theta and r is omega, which rate would be revolutions per second or minute um, as opposed to um, like meters per second or meters per minute. So omega times time like that. So if we want to calculate the angle, the revolutions traveled, um, it's going to be the rate times the time. So we're going to first take our rate of 200 revolutions per minute, and we are going to multiply it by one minute since that is the amount of time allotted. So we can cancel out minutes, one's on top, one's on bottom, and you have 200 revolutions times one. So this equals 200 revolutions, okay? That's how much it's spun in one minute. But we don't want the answer in revolutions, we want it in degrees, like an actual angle. So at this point, we're just gonna do a unit conversion. So we wanna get the equivalent of a revolution, one revolution, in terms of degrees, and then later radians. So how much is one revolution? Well, one revolution is equivalent to 360 degrees. So if we cancel these out, you'll be left with 200 times 360 degrees, and that will be 200 times 360 is 72 read it here 72,000 degrees okay so that's the answer how many degrees this spins in one minute so the same thing for radians we would take 200 revolutions okay and instead of multiplying it by one revolution over 360 degrees, we want to get the equivalent in terms of radians. So we're going to multiply by one revolution. What's going to go on top here? What's equivalent to one revolution? It's two pi radians. Two pi radians is once around a circle. So two pi radians. So we would cancel out the revolutions and you're left with 200 times 2 pi radians, which equals to 400 pi radians. And that is the equivalent answer in radians. Great. See you in the next one.